Hey guys, what's up? This is Steve. Today let's go through legal problem 838. Push dominoes. Let's take a look at the problem first. There are n dominoes in the line and we place each domino vertically upright. It's looking like this. It's vertically upright every single domino. In the beginning, we simultaneously push some of the dominoes either to the left or to the right. Only two directions, left or right. You see here, left, right, left, right, left. After each second, each domino that is falling to the left pushes the adjacent domino on the left, which makes total sense, just common sense, right? When one domino falls to the left, the, the one standing on the left will be falling to the left as well. Similarly, the dominoes falling to the right push the adjacent dominoes standing on the right. When a vertical domino has dominoes falling on it from both sides, it stays still due to the balance of the forces. All right, you see here, this one has one domino falling from the left to the right, and this one has another domino falling from the right to the left, right? So that means the two balances, the two forces are going to be balanced off. Then this one will just stand still. Okay, for the purpose of this question, we will consider that a falling domino exp expands no additional force to a falling or already falling domino. What, is that, what does that mean? That, that drastically simplifies the problem because that just means there is no additional forces going to be expanded from one domino to the next, to the next, to the next. We'll only consider the directly adjacent one. Now, how the problem will be presented is looking like this. Given a string S representing the initial state, SI equals L, that means if the ith domino has been pushed to the left, SI equals R means the ith domino has been pushed to the right, SI equals to period, if the ith domino has not been pushed, return a string representing the final state. Let's take a look at the example one dot l dot r dot 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 l r dot dot l dot dot what's the final output it is l l this one makes it makes sense easily right l it's it's being pushed to the left so the left this dot means it's not being pushed so when a domino on the right being pushed to the left so this one will be falling to the left as well so this one becomes l right and then this one and this one in between, there is a dot here, which means this domino has not been pushed to either direction. And then we'll see its neighbors. It's on the left, its neighbor is being pu pushed further to the left. And on its right, its right neighbor is being pushed further to the right. So this one is still standing still, right? So it's not falling either direction. And then this one. R is already being pushed to the right, so R doesn't change. Uh, all of the R's and R's, all of the L's and R's, they don't change at all, right? Because they have been pushed already. All of the characters that will be changed, all of the dominoes that will be changed, are only those that are represented by periods, by dots, right? And then this one, this one is going to be R, right? Because on the left side, there's a domino that's falling on the right. So it's going to change this one to be right, which is here. And then at this point, since this one has become a force to the right, and then it's going to shift this one to the this one, right? This one will have a force coming from the left to push it to the right. But are we going to change this one to be right, right away? No, we might not be able to do that. In the end, it, it is not. That is because on over here, this side, there is this domino that, that is standing still, but it has a left force coming from its right. So this one will become a left. And then this one's left force is continued to push. And then so left and right, they push towards the same point. So this domino is standing still, right? So it's just like this case. This one has a left force coming from the, has a right force coming from the left and a left force coming from the right they balanced off. So this dot will just stand, will just remain there. All right, I hope that makes sense. And then here, right? Okay, so right is here. So at this point, we can just push, change this domino falling to the right. And this one will change it to falling to the left. That is because this one 
is in falling to the left coming from the right side and these two will just balance off there's nothing in the middle if there happens to be one domino in the middle it will just still be standing there but in this case there's none and then for these two since there is nothing falling to the right these two will still remain the same let's take a look at the second example i hope the first example makes sense the second example is looking like 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 this rr dot l so the output is still the same that is because rr so this r this second example is basically showing us there's no additional false being expanded being passed on from one to another right so it doesn't mean that there are two right forces at this point it has only one left forces at this point this one is going to be changed to r no it's not it doesn't pass on right so this one it just stops here because remember this is the key to understand this problem that is because all of the dominoes they fall simultaneously so see here simultaneously it, it's not like when this one falls to this side at timestamp one and this one falls at timestamp two that means this one will have a second false which is coming from its left neighbor right it's not like that this one and this one they fall to the right at the same time simultaneously that's the key so which also means this left false falling to the left simultaneously so there's only one right and one left the fall to the same position to the same domino simultaneously so one right one left they just balanced off so this domino is still standing there i hope that makes sense so now if we understand this the the idea that came to me might not be very efficient since you see related topics here it says two pointers or dynamic programming and nothing of that sort really came to my idea so my idea might not be super optimal but it's definitely one idea that could work which is is similar to the life of game into that lead code problem we basically the way that i approach this problem is that i can chop this into different multiple timestamps so each time we take a snapshot and then before we we build on the next snap, snapshot the next snapshot is going to be built on the previous snapshot so we build one snapshot one snapshot one snapshot at a time and then in the end once the snapshot doesn't change anymore that means we reach the final final stable state then we can just return i hope that makes sense um, so again let me repeat the idea that came to me is that since every domino forces either falling left or right or standing still they are happening simultaneously right what we can do is that we can think of them as a time as a time window we can make one snapshot at a time one at a time one at a time one at a time the following one will be built on top of the previous one so that this way it gives us the it gives us the base to build on the next snapshot so how we can approach this is very similar to how the how we approach the game of life life of game that lead code problem so let me put the idea into the actual code then things hopefully will make sense to you guys all right first i'm going to have a a i just call it current string builder string builder dominoes is this right yeah i think so okay cool and then i'm going to have a hash set this hash set is going to store every single snapshot once i cannot add a new snapshot into this hash set that means we have visited this this snapshot this snapshot has occurred already which means it's it's entering into a final stable state at that point we can just simply return that's the final state i'll just call it a set new hash set in the beginning i'm going to add this dominoes into this set then i'm going to have a while loop um, while set add current sb to stream as long as the current as being this stream builder can be added so of course in the do while loop i'm going to iterate modify to keep keep exchange to keep updating this current stream builder 
once this one cannot be added into the hash stack, which means we reached the final end state, right? Let's just return um, current sb to string. All right, so here I'm going to initialize a new stream builder. Stream builder. I'm going to call it new sb, new stream builder. Then here we basically need to go through, we need to go through this current stream builder. Length i plus plus. So in this for loop, we'll just go through the current stream builder, which right now it's the starting position. It's the given starting stream. So we only need to check two cases. And there are only three cases. So we'll check if current asp char at i equals to l. We'll do something else if this one equals to right would we'll do something else it's just a dot right if it's a dot what we'll do is so in all three cases we're just going to append it append the one to the new stream builder new sb append or we'll append this or we'll append right or we'll append left so now we'll have to take care of when the current char builder, the current one it's iterating on, it's a left, which means the domino is falling to the left. There are two cases that we need to take care of. One case is that once this one is, say it's the second one, which is this case, right? That means if i equals one and current sb char at, uh, char at, yeah, zero equals dot. If this is the case, then what we will do is we'll replace. Replace. Stream builder has this function. I, this one to be L, right? So this one is going to be shifted like just like this one. This one, since it's on the left side, on the right side of this domino, it has a domino that's falling to the left. So this dot is going to be replaced with L. Another case is more common case, which is, which is going to be replaced as well like this. So the second case is more common, which is this case, right? Once this one, we encounter an L here, then we want to check this one. And we not only we need to check this one, since this one also exists, we need to check this one as, as well, right? So we want to check if i is greater than 1 and current sp char at i minus 1 equals dot. And we need to make sure that current sp char at i minus 2 not equals to right. As long as this one this one is not falling to the right and then we can simply change this dot to be L, right? I hope this makes sense. Let me change this to the left a little bit so that it's easier to see. All right, now we can put this into one line. That's cool. Yeah, this is the two cases. Um, we can merge these two um, if statements into one, but it's just a simple for us to tell these are two different cases, although the, the execution is the same, right? It's the same. It's basically shifting the one on the left side of, of, of the domino that's falling to the left to be left, right? And then, so this is all that we need to do for once we encounter a domino that's falling to the left. So now, similarly, we'll take care of once we encounter a domino that's falling to the right. So first, one corner case. One case is that if this is the last one, if this is this case, like say R, and then there is only one domino in the end, right? So if this is the case, if that means if i equals current sp length minus two, right? And current sp char at i minus one 
is that. If this is the case, what we'll do is we'll new sb replace. In this case, it's i plus 1, i plus 2. This one, we're going to change it. It's not actually replace, it's just append, right? Because at this point, new sb, new stream builder, it doesn't have any characters at this position yet. But just to be consistent, I'm going to use replace here. And then at this point, what we one more thing that we need to do is that we need to increment i because we have already covered i at this point because we have this is not actually replaced this is a pen so we need to increment i this is one case the other case very similar to here which is a normal case a more commonly seen case which is when i is smaller than current sb dot length minus two and current sb char at i minus one equals dot and current sb char at i minus not yeah so this this is not minus it should be plus all right so here should be plus as well and here should be plus two because we're checking on the right side doesn't equal to left as long as that is the case we'll change this one to be on the right and also increment i that's it so this is going to help us take care take care of all of the cases that we need to worry about let me remove this and run code let's see if it's going to compile error line uh oh that is because this one needs to be a string instead of a character because this i uh, api only takes a string instead of it it's not like the constructor of string builder all right let me remove it here all right now let me hit run code one more time line 33 cannot find symbol oh current always happens 21 current sb length e n g h what length i don't know how to spell this wrong answer hmm interesting let me see oh i i think i forgot to reset this let me close this off the whole reason i have a new sb here is that i need to re reset this after this is done set length to be zero and then i'll assign the new as oops new sb to the current sb that's how we can continue to move on build a, the second snapshot based on the first snapshot the third snapshot based on the second snapshot all right let me run code one more time all right accept it let me hit submit success accept it that's nice all right it's the performance not so good only nine and a single digit very bad actually yeah anyway and I guess this um, algorithm isn't super uh, super efficient. Apparently, it's a working solution, not super optimal. Um, since I have a dual dual while loop and a for loop here, it's going through this um, string multiple times, right? Um, apparently, there are more optimal ways. For example, dynamic programming or two pointers. Either way, just comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you guys approach this problem. If you find this video helpful or just interesting, please do me a favor. Just uh, hit that like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm, and I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, as I have accumulated quite a lot of different um, data structure algorithms, different uh, videos, everything tech related. So hopefully, I'll just see you guys in just a few short videos in my other videos. Thanks very much for watching.